Viewer discretion is advised. I was an infant when the great serpent god attacked our land. Father said that it used its magic breath to burn away our cities in order to purge us of our sin and indulgences. That it roared and summoned the monstrous winds and waves to clean our lands and wash away the innocent blood spilled from war. How its body glittered the purest colors in order to show off its brilliance and majesty to us all so that we may never forget it. Father says that its eyes could see all and counted the transgressions committed by all, swallowing up the impure and unrighteous. Its countless number of teeth chewed up the damned. The thing is, the righteous were not safe either, like they believed, for they too met the same fate. Father says that even the good-hearted were slain for their impassivity. The rainbow god would bring death to all it came across. When I asked what happened after it left us, my father smiled. It brought back the beauty of our land. He gestured, showing lovely green pastures and bountiful waters. But be warned, if we do not stay humbled and close to nature, the rainbow god will strike us down. Do you understand, son? Yes, father, I whispered, looking at the painting of the serpentine god stretched across the cave wall. Hello, everybody, I'm the rubber. Today, we bring you a SCP Foundation Tiamat class object, SCP-6004. SCP-6004, also known as the Rainbow Serpent, is an unbelievably massive entity that resembles a monstrous snake that can morph its body to either be just over a tenth of a mile to as big as 1100 miles in mass and size. The head of the entity shifts between different species of ophidians, leaving its true face unknown. Puzzlingly enough, 6004's body is both at the same time tangible and intangible at random intervals and whenever it chooses to. Speaking of its body, it is mostly charcoal black but with rings of different colors around its body. Two curved horns with the engravings of different animal species and a number of teeth impossible for any creature to possess. 6004 is able to propel itself through the air and water by moving in a serpentine fashion faster than the speed of sound. Due to its combined speed and size, its movements will cause tsunamis to form and sonic bursts to surge through the air. Mentally, 6004 is able to alter the weather across the planet simultaneously, whenever it wills it. Finally, 6004 is capable of swallowing and regurgitating anything that it wishes, but will often swallow animals only to throw them back up into where they belong. After the Foundation failed in its efforts to stop 6004, they decided to join forces with the Global Occult Coalition GOC, the Church of the Broken God, and Marshall, Carter, and Dark Limited in the construction of a weapon, a long-range charged particle emitter, or Project Mongoose. A meeting was called by O5-1 following the failure of the prototype of Project Mongoose. A representative from each organization and Site-14's director, Alan Tibbles, were present. Oh, how the Great Foundation has fallen. Do you see now how containment of these creatures is pointless? My dear O5, surely you understand now that if you were as dedicated to the eradication of anomalous entities as we are, we would have the technology to kill this behemoth ten times over. That pathetic particle emitter barely hurt it. Do not speak to me about what we should have done. Billions are dead. Australia blown to ashes. Russia incinerated. The USA nearly underwater. Need I go on? The petty squabble we have cannot continue if we are to produce something to stop 6004. The prototype simply wasn't as ready as we thought. That is why we shall redouble our efforts and send a mongoose up into space for an orbital bombardment. But this time, it shall be bigger, more powerful. What does the Church of the Broken God think about this? I'm afraid I must concur with the GOC. If the Foundation was not so lenient with these despicable things, we would not be in this mess, especially after your Foundation has worked so tirelessly to thwart our efforts as well. The Mongoose prototype was, and is, a failure, due to you stifling the growth of true saviors. What say you, representative from Marshall Carter and Dark? I get paid regardless. I vote for whatever plan is decided on. Just keep us alive and I'll play along. Get you all you need. Listen to you all. Do you not remember how that damned beast shrugged off 12 nuclear warheads and sent the radioactive wave to destroy all of Beijing? Yet all you care about is attacking the Foundation? 
The next mongoose will be enough. We simply need more time. It is your fault billions died, not ours. Their blood is on your hands and yours alone. And now you want us to risk our lives in the construction of something that will most likely not work at all? Fat chance. Site director Alan Tibbles slowly stood up and looked at each representative one at a time, silencing them with a stern look. Things have not gone how we wanted them to. We all know that. The world knows of 6004's existence and possibly numerous other SCPs at this point. We could barely scratch this beast and you have good reason to believe we shall all die here. But you couldn't be more wrong. What are you suggesting? What I have to say is this. Our foundation has defeated threat after threat and extinguished every end of the world scenario, every bloody god, and every reality warping monstrosity you can think of, even when hope was lost. This is no different. We have saved humanity from destruction while you and the Church of Broken Gods sat around. The representatives only looked down when called out. Tibbles continued, Every day we fail, yet we learn more about this creature. And do you know what our biggest advantage is right now? The world knows of all of our existences. We don't have to hold back anymore. Following this rousing speech, the representatives then agreed to work on the orbital mongoose and to dedicate all the resources they had in order to destroy or contain 6004. After the successful completion of an orbital mongoose, 6004 target a GOC site and promptly begin attacking it as it summoned the elements in a fury. Using this opportunity, 05-1 ordered for the mongoose to take aim at the behemoth. You have my permission to fire when ready, gentlemen. As soon as that weapon is ready, fire at it without a second thought. The beast has shown us no mercy, and so let us return the favor. A massive green energy beam that darkens the sky shot down at 6004, noticeably tearing and damaging its body, causing it to let out painful shrieks that shook the earth. Yes, do not let up. Give it all we've got. 05-1 and the representatives watched as 6004 attempts to flee from the particle beam while attacking the GOC site. Until it finally had enough, 6004 roared and with determined speed slammed its massive body down onto the GOC site, sending earthquakes throughout the area and nearly destroying the entire site. Full surge blast right now! I don't care if we destroy 200 miles of land, use every ounce of power we have. A massive burst from the particle beam slammed into 6004. The energy from the wave killed all life within 300 miles of the blast. 6004 was seen rising through the smoke and began to charge an energy blast of its own, disrupting the beam from the mongoose. After learning of its location, 6004 charged into space towards it. It approached the mongoose and used its maw to destroy the device before descending down to Earth as all of humanity feels their collective hope fade away. After 6004 came down from space, it disappeared for some time before being rediscovered at what is now Site 6004 in Walamai National Park in an underground lake deep in slumber. Many members of the Foundation, the GOC, wondered why 6004 ended its rampage so abruptly. Some think that after slaughtering billions, 6004 brought the world back to a state where it could be sustainable again and allow for the Earth to heal, to go back the way it used to be, before industrialization was brought on by humanity. Some thought that due to the Foundation working to transform the world into one that is more reliant on renewable resources, less mass urbanization, and the growth of nature at large, the Rainbow Serpent was pleased and returned to sleep. Both theories are believed to be true, as the destruction 6004 caused brought upon the prolific growth of nature and wildlife and brought humanity down to a more modest population with less focus on excessive waste and consumption. However, the truth is, in order to prevent 6004's reawakening, Tibbles and Lloyd created 27 consciousness nullification devices to keep the beast asleep, to prevent another rampage. Amnestics were distributed worldwide through the air and water to keep all that humanity had learned a secret once again. The Foundation now tasks itself with ensuring the world follows strict environmental policies and protects nature, in fear of the reawakening of 6004.
Remember to check out my new animation channel, The Rubber Talks, where I share my life story, thoughts, and opinions. Just click on the link in the description to enter the rubber's world. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Which SCP do you want to see in the next video and why it is interesting? Let us know in the comment below. We will draw your story and share it with the world. Don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Please share it to your friends if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.